right, we're going to open some packs. You ready to do this, Michael? You want to come and join? Yeah, why not? All right. All right. Let's open some packs because I have seen only a bit of this. Like, I have no idea what those are, honestly. That's a horseshoe. Or a magnet. Yeah, yeah, we got a horseshoe and we've got uh, a magnet. Horseshoe and a tail. That's not Magneto. Yeah, man, you're welcome. See ya. Nocturne, common Nocturne. And see, there's a lot of these that I have straight up just not read either. We should focus the camera. What do you think? Yeah. Michael, read these. Read that. Here's a rare Polaris. While Nocturne is active at the end of your roll and reroll step, you may take control of a character die with two or less attack. Interesting. Wait, while she's active? Say that again? Uh, at the end of your roll and reroll step, you may take control of a character die with two or less attack until the end of turn. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And that's a two cost? Or a five, five cost? Good yeah. lord. You know, we're running stat line 0031142143. Uh, not so good. My opinion. What do you think? Uh, well, the, well, you can't attack with those, right? Uh, no, when you yeah, take control, so. you can't attack. So you're, I guess that's, there's that. But again, with two or less attack. So what are you grabbing? If you're grabbing text wipe, that could be pretty good. But for five, Possibly, probably yeah. not worth yeah, it. Yeah, not for five. Four shield. When Polaris is active, when one of your character dies is KO'd, you may pay a shield, and if you do, return it to the field zone at level one. Yeah, that's pretty good. When one of your so this you could just pay infinite number of shields to get an infinite number of characters back. Hmm, that's not bad. Not a once per turn effect, so you could just pop that out, throw yeah. these in there. Where's a good spot for them? Yeah, there. yeah cool. All right. Ty said he wanted me to open his packs too. How kind. Okay. A kind and generous lad. Thunderbird. When Thunderbird attacks, spin all of your X-Men character dice up. I actually like this card okay. And then all the blobs, I think, are pretty good. Capture target opposing Blob. character die until he leaves the field zone. Look at the stat line. And he's a four drop, but that stat line is sick. And all of the capture effects for him are pretty tough. Pretty cool. Big butt. <laughs> it's something, right? Yeah. This avalanche Very is pretty cool. Defense. Common avalanche. Pretty cool. Common Sasquatch. Um, deal one to each blocking die. Two commons. I like that blah blah. Yeah, the uh, yeah. rare one is great. The common one, I think, is the good one, too. That might actually straight up just be the weakest of the, really? of the blocks. The I think so. Yeah. Interested to see the rares that are in this box. When Pyro's KO, deal damage to target opposing character die equals the number of bolt character dice in the field zone. So this is a win KO, though. So you can trigger it off of, uh, what do you call it? Trigger it off truce. of, uh, you can trigger it off of truth. You can yeah. trigger it off of uh, fabricate. Fabricate, yeah. That's not terrible. Four drop. That might be okay in draft as well to deal some extra damage afterwards. When opposing character die is KO'd, spin that character up one level. Uh, spin this character up a level, like, and then wait, deal what? one tar deal one damage to target opponent. So, this is a really cool one. Um, That's the every time you're she, talking about. this is uncommon, yeah. Every yeah. time she, every time someone gets KO'd, she spins up and pops your opponent for one, as long as she can spin up. Yeah, that's interesting. Solid stats for two draw. Yes, right. That's a good draft card. Yeah. Which is why is. I think there's a couple of of uh, good draft cards that make this a good draft set. Spin all your character dice up one level. This is what you should be drafting if you want to spin stuff up in draft. Uh, draw a die from your bag, and if it's an X character die, field it for free at level three. Otherwise, prep it. So no matter what, you're prepping a die on the burst phases. So you got a 50% chance to trigger awaken abilities, and you've got a 33% chance in uh, trigger or in prepping a die or popping something out. Sentinel, the really terrible character from this set. When fielded, spin all X character dice down one level and deal two damage to your opponent for each that cannot spin down. That's actually pretty good, but he's a seven drop. Seven. So that's yeah. unfortunate. Eight, eight. Oh. What is he, a three eight eight on top? Yeah. Angel. I like this angel a lot in draft if you're trying to get a uh, get a trigger for triggering the uh, awakens. Sidekick is KO'd. He gets plus two plus two. Six drop, three seven six, so he could be a three nine eight. Even on bottom, he'd be pretty decent. It's not bad. 
not too bad for three. No, it's the same. It's very nostalgic, this set. It's very similar in stat lines and even just die uh, decorations are designed to the UXM set oh, okay. way back in the day. So we've got Sasquatch again. We've got Sebastian Shaw, which has this insane... He's a three drop. Check this out. He's got a six six side on top. Wow, <laughs> disgusting. Three cost. Yeah, three cost uh, six yeah. six. It's pretty disgusting. It's a three six six, which is terrible. But, yeah, it's, uh, but I mean, you're you're running in draft and you run up against a six six on turn three. It's scary. Yeah. This is an interesting card. We got common havoc and uncommon quicksilver. Prep the next character die you purchase this turn. So uh, he is a built in a built in uh, chalkboard. It's kind of cool. So normally I let my wife. Oh, that's a really cool looking die. Normally I let my wife pick the box, but uh, she didn't answer the phone, so I probably picked a really bad box. So we got common and common. Professor time. X, common Professor X. When he's active, spin up all. Uh, once at the start of your turn, spin up all X character dice. It's a good trigger. He's a six drop though, but that same stat line, and that is a cool looking die. Three, one, Common uh, Scarlet Witch. When she is active during your opponent's reroll and roll, roll and reroll step, they have to reroll any action that land on action face and cannot reroll action dice on energy faces. So there's that action hate that I was talking about. What's the purchase cost? Is it a four? Uh, three cost. Three cost. Yeah. So it's turn, stat line. turn one by and you one can five, like three on the top. Mm, the old stat line from the the old days, the broken stat line. Oh three three for the second. Yeah, isn't That's that great? Really good. Boom, boom. When she's action, or when she's active, when you use a basic action, it deals two. There's a really cool combo with her and uh, Super Rare Lady Deadpool, and really just a bunch of other cards you can put around this to just machine gun somebody down uh, with boom, boom. Magic Missile, now Unstable Canister. When fielded, copy the printed attack and defense of target character die. When he attacks, if he is not blocked, copy the KO the copied character die. <laughs> That's cute. That's a, a great feature. Yeah. It is. Right? There's several, aren't there? Look at this one. Look at this uncommon, too. There's some, that's the thing about this set. There's some like really cool, cute uh, abilities. I'm going to turn the mic volume oh. up. That's very interesting, different. right? Yeah, that's, I haven't seen anything quite like that. Whenever a non-sidekick character die is fielded, Morph becomes a copy of that character die but retains this ability. So it triggers multiple times a turn when it's fielded. Common, Mimic, Uncommon, Iceman. When you field a character die, Iceman gets plus one, plus one. He just copies anything that's... Wow! When you field a character die, Iceman gets plus one, plus one. Over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, and it's a hollow? Get out of here with your self. This guy over here. If it's yellow like that, it's rare. Green Tyler uncommon, opens one pack and pulls a hollow rare. This right here, <laughs> this right here either, that you know, guy, like, yeah. the guy sitting across from me pulls two super rares and two drafts over here. Pack, and, uh, Tyler over there gets a hollow rare. So like this that guy. guy. Uh, when he attacks, one spin so up one level. In your While Pyro is active, if you roll two or more bolts, deal two damage to your opponent. Oh, just like the old old days. Kind of a very similar ability to the old day. Pyro. Okay. Solid. Ball active effect. Cool hollow version of the common, uh, common avalanche. Danger room common. This one's interesting. Board clear and draft. Common danger room. Okay, yeah, roll back. You know, like that, man. Yeah. Another so danger room, common. Looking for the rare danger room. Common black bird. You must pay one to block each of your X character dice. That's interesting. You see, there's a ton of really, like, you. It, it, a lot of this stuff could fit really well in draft. A lot of it, Chris. Uh, yeah. 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 It would stack. Impulse abilities. You can pay. This is common Quicksilver. You can pay a bolt if you do. Your next main step field him for free on his level one side, no matter where he is. If he goes back to the bag, so you uh, wait for a turn, but then he preps it or he pops himself back out there. It's kind of like a more fair version of, uh, of Katana. Spend all your characters up one level. Get out of here. Congratulations, but what is the what is the rare one? The rare one? Yeah, what does he do? I forgot. Uh, when he hits the field, 
When he is active, when a villain character dies, he you deal one damage to all opposing character dies, so he just he wipes sidekicks all the time. When either either opposing or common says or when a villain character dies field. Wow. Wow. He says win one he That's just, gross. He just whacks the whole thing. That's gross. Yeah. Here. Oh common. I got two of the same thing. Uncommon. Alright. Well, Another rare so Sebastian Shaw. Man, look at him going over the there. You pick up another tape. Prep, Dude. prep a die from your bag. When this die spins up one or more levels, you may use this effect. Yeah, He's so, three for a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, there, he figured it out. He figured it out. That's three, though. Yeah, it's a three field. Yeah, cost. but he's still a 6-6. Six, six Common and uncommon. Draw. Blackbird. You control cannot be targeted by abilities or action dice. Pay one. Target global ability cannot be used until the start of your next turn. Interesting. I like that global. Look at the global. Okay. Yeah. I like that a lot. Actually, uh, solid too. Common again. Uncommon dupe. This one's a decent, decent one. So it triggers off the spin up ability. Dupe. The awakens. Oh, awaken capture. Okay. The two six six. I like the win. I like the win K. Yeah, the two six six is really sneaky on there. I like the win K. Oh, yes. This one doesn't matter because this hollow, hollow rare Cyclops matters. For someone who really loved uh, UXM's Hulk, the uncommon. No, I guess it was a. Uh, it was the original set. AVX's Hulk. This is an insane card. All right, take a look at that. Let's see it. Six cost. Good sides. One, two, one, five, three, one, six, four. When Cyclops dealt damage, deal one damage to each opposing character die. All right, so check this out. Here's the plan. You take that, you field it, you play Unstable Canister with the with the ping global, right? Yeah. Pay a bolt, paying a damage, right? You wait until they field all their characters and they pass priority to you. And then you wipe their board, yeah. and then you just do whatever you want on your turn. And yeah. you do it again next turn, and again next turn. It was really sick back in the day for uh, PXG yeah, uh, with PXG. It's awesome. Pretty good. It is super good. I love that card. That makes me happy. Awaken and then the common Sebastian Shaw again. That was one of those cards. Like, I don't really, honestly, I don't really I care like what else is in this. Too. Yes, I agree. And I like the die is very similar to the old, um, the old UXM Cyclops that yeah. was kind of cooler looking, but at least it's a throwback. I think the same stat line too. Pretty good old card that doesn't get seen much anymore. Mimic. There's a uh, there's a really cool super rare mimic that every time and sorry if you're on the stream and you're having me listen and butcher this explanation. Every time uh, a global could be used at any time, you can just he he switches. Um, you you target somebody else, right? Uh, he's sitting out in the field and. Um, the global can be used. I can target some character die that's out on the field, and he takes that stat line and the ability. And then another global could be used at a different time, like during the attack step. You can you switch can it. Switch. You can switch it, switch it, switch it, and you can do it on your opponent's turn. So he can just bounce around forever. Uh, here's a card I don't actually know. A hollow rare uh, pyro. Five cost bolt character deal one damage to target opponent for each bolt in your reserve pool when he spins up. So you got two spin up effects. Um, you can deal some damage with that. Yeah, I think uh, I already like the Giganta from the... Uh, yeah, the, the one, one global that global. spins up. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of... Hey, we got another rare. Three rares back-to-back, -back, or four, or something like that. Uh, three on four. Awaken Onslaught is unblockable when he spins up. He's a seven drop. That might actually be good enough, because he's got a decent stat. When he's yeah. active, you may pay a bolt to spin target character die you control up or down one level. So this is a good rare to have if you're trying to put so, together some awakened stuff. Definitely a good draft finisher. Yes, if you can get to seven in draft, that's a great one to run. Oh, what is it? another danger room? Reroll all active. This is the same one. What am I saying? Uncommon when he's when she is active, you roll a character die, you spin it up, blah 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 blah. blah. Basically, it's just another spin up trigger. Which is good, but this one spins it up or down one level before moving into your reserve. So, excuse me, I was incorrect. This one allows you to put something on a level 3 face or a level 2 face. Or you can spin it down if you wanted to before you uh, before you start to pay for it. Hmm. Allows you to set up what you want to pay for, which is yeah. kind of nice. Plan out your turns a little better. Colossus. Common Colossus. This card is not very good. Common Blackbird. These cards aren't very good. You haven't seen that one yet. 
Or is that the one that is really good? No, no, it's the Uncommon Colossus that I like a little better than that one. Costs too much. Costs for too much for what it does, does right? He's only coming exactly. back at 4-4. Exactly. You have to have a level 30. You damage equal to his attack divided as you choose any number um, of target opposing character dice. See, that's kind of cool. That takes advantage of the stat line that's lopsided in order for him to do something that is, uh, wow. yeah, that like is pretty that. cool. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a six cost, that's so it's six, just yeah. on the it's on the cusp of being Loads not of good, high. but it's still in that in that range. Common and common. By the way, that the promo that comes with this, I like the promo a lot. Where did I put that? The art for it? Yeah. It's really pretty. I do like that. And it's a decent card in and of itself. Five drop. Whoa. I am curious to see what uh, now what super rares in this box S stack of commons can now go somewhere else. It's gonna fall off over there too. Common and uncommon. Sasquatch. When you uh, when another character that you control spins up, spin this character up one level. And he's got a stat line to take advantage of it. He's got a he's a five cost, but he's got a one six six on top. That's the good. one fielding one cost. six six. Yeah, I like that. A one six six, and he spins himself up when you spin something else up. I'm so, always interested in a one fielding cost on high On a top? Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. You can take some serious advantage of it. Another Onslaught and another Polaris. Polaris, when she's active, when you're, an opponent uses a global or action, your character dice gain plus two defense. See, how does that help? In what in what instance does that help a ton? Uh, not let you ton. ping your Cyclops more. <laughs> yeah, it lets me ping my... There you go. Yeah, found it. Actually, it is an interesting... That's an interesting counterplay. Yeah. That's a good point. Uh, this is a really cool... Th this Hellfire Club. Uh, common Hellfire Club. And then Uncommon Quicksilver. Huh. That one, that one takes some thinking. Uh, you kind of have to sit there and think yeah, around it. it but, but But you're doing two, and you're fielding at least one die for free, then you're okay. And then you're prepping a die when you do field that for free. Yeah. So you're paying two and you're prepping one die and not paying for something else, which I am a you fan of. You can prep of. a lot depending on how many villains yeah, you're working with. Yeah, exactly. So I was hoping this was uh, super rare, but it's not. Common Boom Boom, which is still a really good one. She is um, super rare? She is, oh, okay. and she's pretty good. I think. Uh, overcrush when you're... Whoa, a five cost Overcrush. When your opponent uses a global, spin him up. Oh my gosh, this card is really good. Yeah. He's a five cost over crush that spins himself up to a one six six when your opponent yeah. spins. Up. I already like his stat line. Oh my four. gosh. I'm into it. Yeah. Common blob. When fielded, capture all opposing sidekick dice until he leaves the field zone or until you field another blob die. So he hits the field, takes all your sidekicks or allies. He takes your all, all of them. He takes all of yours. Wow. All of yours. All of mine stay. He takes them. They sit over here. And then I feel another one of these. That guy takes them. But you have to remove this body if you want sidekicks back. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Rare Magneto. While he is active, when your opponent fields a character die, spin it down one level. Probably not good enough, but it's a 6 drop with a 3, 6, 8. Yeah, probably not good enough. How many rares are right there so far? I'm curious. <laughs> Common Sentinel. A good coaster. You put, put a drink rares. on that. And then Uncommon Avalanche. Only six? Oh, wait, here's one. Seven? Seven. Dang. I mean, made a dip. I guess all the all the rares were at the bottom of this box. Rare? No. Not a rare danger room. Hollow danger room. Common dupe. This is the one that I actually like better than the Awakened version of it. The common version is a wind KO, so you can get two of those out on the field and fabricate with both of them. Capture two of your opponent's characters. Yep. Take away some some text wiping. Take away a uh, black bolt, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Another one of those dupes, common dupe, uncommon Jean Grey. While she's active, when an opposing character dies, field to deal damage to it equal to her level, so one, two, or three. That's not bad. So it it keeps uh, all sidekicks off the field for your yeah. opponent, making their re rolls. A little less lucrative. Jubilee. Common Jubilee again. Or actually, this is the first common Jubilee. When, uh, deal one to all opposing character dice whenever she spins up. And then sure. common Scarlet Witch. Spin her up. Deal one. 
spinner up deal three if you uh, if you play a cube. That would be cute, cool. See, that's Everything's that's one of the reasons cube. why I, that's one of the reasons why I like cube because it makes things that you normally wouldn't see impactful enough become impactful, become common, and impactful. <laughs> well, see, that's not even that absurd. Yeah, right? three to everything. That's not that that's, absurd. That's it's good. just it's pretty good, right? Yeah. It doesn't make you go, well, I hate you know you and everything that you stand only, for. Only now, right? black bolt makes me. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. That's yeah. that's not something that you that you run in a draft and make people happy with you about. <laughs> yeah. You don't enjoy yourself when you play against that in a draft. Sasquatch, Sunfire, all of these Sunfires are really cool. Um, I like this one in particular. That one in particular. What's up, Steven? Um, yes, so far, so good. Uh, my personal favorite is that hollow rare Cyclops that I think is really worth building around. Oh, hey, we got Blink in Betweener. Blink in Betweener, and I uh, I haven't released the video yet, but this is one of the ones that I was like, this is probably the worst super rare in the set, so I, I should just, I'll probably end up pulling this one. Um, so when fielded, and when she attacks, and the die is uh, messed up the paint job. Oh, man. So she's a 3-3 three, three on that. So when you field her, you uh, take a die from your use pile and you roll it, and if it comes up in energy phase, which it didn't, if it comes up in energy phase, you KO all mask characters. Uh, if you run that with a crossover, it KOs all of the two energy types that you've run into. Um, but as you see, it's not the most exciting. You can do it twice, though. So that's cool, I guess. Unless I'm missing something that uh, I could be missing something. Let's see what else we can get. Common Xavier School, Uncommon Blob. The rare blob, I think, is the best of the blobs. The rare blob. I think you just field and capture something and it stays with you. Common blob and uncommon Sasquatch. I am so stocked up on Sasquatch. Like, if you want some Sasquatch dye, I will give you yeah, some, you Michael. Would you like one? Yeah. yeah. I'll take a Sasquatch. Just for, just for fun. Same Squatch. Uh, Blink and Storm. We've got Blink, the pretty bad Blink. We've got a hollow rare Storm. This one's interesting. Reroll target opposing die. If it is on an energy face, put it in your opponent's use pile. Otherwise, return it to the field zone on its original face. It's a three drop. Same uh, stats. Not bad. Same stats, same picture, slightly different color. Dark orangey. Yeah, I like the other color better. Yeah, it's, a, it's a popping color. Let's see what else we got. We got a Kitty Pride and a Cyclops. Cyclops, common. Kitty Pride, uncommon. She gets plus two, plus two when you spin her up, which makes her stat line a 155 for four, which is about average. So if you don't spin her up, then she is very under, which makes her not very good in general. That is a bent up pack. That is a seriously bent up pack. Wow. Oh, good, it's just two commons. Common angel. It's like, whoo, dodge that bullet, right? Common and common. <laughs> See, I should have I should have pressed the issue and let my wife pick pick the box yeah. and uh, call it. Though I did see somebody else pulled a blink in between her and a super rare Jubilee, so that would have been good. Uh, Emma Frost, who is also a super rare, that is a possibility in this set. When she takes damage, redirect one damage to target character. If it uh, does not KO, it spin it up one level. This is a really interesting version of the spin up trigger that I actually really like. Uh, Overcrush, and this is the Hollow Uncommon, the one that I, I think is actually kind of cool. I think this one's borderline worth no wearing into. Yeah, so you can use her to seven kind of drop you want. If you want to ping something and kill it, exactly. You, you can use it dual up, purpose, yeah. which I think uh, they've introduced a few more of those types of things in this set, and I personally really like it. Common Blob. Common saber tooth first saber tooth when field it spin all of your character dice up one level. This is a card that you actually want to draft as your uh, trigger, as your awakened trigger, because he straight up just fields up or spins up, spins up the field. That's, that's cool art. I like, I like and it is cool art. I agree. And that's the old school um, picture from the, not picture the die face. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. We've got uh, common nocturne again. Uncommon Polaris when a character dies KO'd spin her up one level. Polarisa to her 255 side. She's a 3-drop on that version. That could be worth it. 
she comes up on the three side already, then you kind of you miss out. There's not. There's not a night crawler. Uh, Kitty Pride cannot be blocked when attacking alone, and follow common Magneto. Yeah, me too. I think there is some great art. That's straight out of. I mean, most of this is straight out of a comic book. Yeah, exactly. But uh, you can really see the influence on that one. Exactly. Common Polaris. Uncommon Juggernaut. When he's KO'd, he spins up. It's a good thing I brought this because otherwise you just take like a wad of dice home. Yeah. It's just never fun. Come on, Jubilee. Common Jean Grey. Uncommon Jubilee. Deal one to target. I, th I mean, it's strange to say that this card is almost as good as a super rare. But it's yeah. not. It's not as good as a super rare. But it's almost. It's it's still pretty good. It's, Which it's is kind of cool. solid two drop. It's kind of cool. Hey! Oh, sweet! Super rare boom boom. When fielded, deal one damage to your opponent for each of your active characters. So not character dice. So if you've got three different characters, she'll deal three damage. But there is a... Uh, there's already a pop a popular team that that fits on, and that's team up teams, right? So team up teams, you're looking to field uh, a different bunch of different characters. characters that have different affiliations. And so she's a great secondary win condition on that team. I like that card a lot. Um, this is a really cool morph, uncommon morph that I think we'll see some play. Common uh, Cyclops probably won't see see play because it's too expensive for the ability. That morph though is really cool. Choose a basic action. Wow. That could be really good. Yeah, right? There's some very powerful basic actions. Exactly. I you, just, you just use it. Yeah. When he's KO'd, you may pay a bolt. If you do, you re reroll her as if she had regenerate. And then uncommon blink. When she's active, you play an action die spin, target character die up a level. So that's good enough for a, uh, for a spin up activator. Especially with the actions that are being run in the current meta. Next up, Common Danger Room, and hey, that's a good card too. The Rare Blob. When fielded, choose an opposing card, canceling all previous choices. Your opponent may not purchase or field that card's dice until the Blob leaves the field. That is a great card. That is a great card. So let's put all the good cards out here. The good cards. The good rares and, and super rares. The ones that people care about. So this has been a pretty good box overall. Got yeah. throw that away. <laughs> Com, uh, common hollow. Prevent all damage Delta Bissell from this card is sad. And then Xavier's tool. We got uh, we got that. A rare blob, okay. Just soak that Closing text in. Card. Soak it in. That's right. That's right. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? We've got Uncommon Banshee. While he's active, you'll want to target opponent when they use an action die. Very intriguing. That is nasty. Is that not awesome? Yeah. Is that not one of those that you go, I want that card, right? Yeah. I'm setting it out here so that everyone can see and, yeah. and uh, get hyped about that cool card. Here's a die that I have not pulled yet. What was that weird? Both of these are weird. I've gotten the Blackbird. That's the oh, it's the Hellfire. I just yeah, didn't see the symbol yeah. down there. It's how silly. This is an interesting one, the uncommon version. Uh, okay. If you control a character die with the highest attack, when you play this, it, you just KO all of the others. Every other character die. Just KO. Wow. That can be very strong. It can be, but it also takes out your own guys. But that could be good, because yeah, you have a bunch of things that want to get KO'd, and then yeah. something really big. That might be interesting. Yeah. It's four. It's four cost, it is which four. is kind of bad. That's but a cool effect, though. I, I like agree. That. Common blink. Throw it away. When character <laughs> dies, damaged and not KO, spin up your uh, Sebastian Shaw dice up one level. This one's pretty good too. Put that next to uh, that Emma Frost that redirects damage. Yeah. Yeah, and get him out there and then spin him up to his expensive side. Exactly, right? And he's a four drop, so you're still justifying the two six six side. Come on, rare. No, but it's uncommon. I don't know this ability. Uncommon this until yeah. the start of your next turn when a character die takes damage. KO that character die. 
Okay. Okay. Is it a duplicate rare? Oh. Well, come on. It's going to happen. It's a, that's going to happen. I mean, five packs. It is what it is. It is what it is. We've got Beast, and we've got Hollow Uncommon version of this. So this is a really good... Uh, oh, hey, there you go. you got a Hollow Rare out of five packs? That's pretty good. So until the start of your next turn when that character die takes damage, KO it. So this is a straight-up counter to someone running um, this Rare Cyclops and the Ping yeah, I like this Danger Room a lot. That Ping Global. Yes, exactly, yeah. right? That's really good. And this is what I'm saying about this set. I think it's good for the counters that it provides. Um, hollow common and common. It provides some seriously interesting counters, and it takes the meta and it shakes it in just enough of ways that make you go, do I have to now switch out a tech card or a card that's underperforming on this eight-card team and play this thing that I know will counter this deck that I suck against? You know, that's <laughs> that's a, an important thing. Uncommon and common. Same on every time. Next, mimic. Common mimic. I like this common mimic too. When fielded, copy the printed attack and defense. When copy of that character dies fielded, draw two dice and prep them. And then awaken prep a die from your bag to drop. This is worth. Uh, it's worth reading. What are you looking at? Typo. Let me see. I want to see the typo. The cards that I got two of. I'm not seeing it. They're missing an R. Where? On you next. Ah, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Deering yeah. you next. Deering you next. Common and common. Common saber tooth spin stuff up. Hmm. Isn't that cool though? That's cool, yeah. They're gonna be fielding a lot of the same stuff. Same stuff, yeah. Or you just trigger it on your guy. Yeah. And you field your own guy. Like run this run this mimic alongside um, any swarm character. You put it on yeah. a uh, multiple man. You put it on a multiple man and now you're not only prepping from the clear and now draw step, but you're gas. prepping with everything. <laughs> now you're cooking with gas is the right thing. All right, other things that shout out to me on this set. Um, it's really just that that rare danger room is really good. Common and common. And let's see, there's not yet like 10. What is that? That's got to be close to 10 or not, not fully 10. Oh, plus two right here. Plus two. Seven, eight, nine. Nine for you? Or seven, eight, nine. Ah, so only nine. So there's a possibility it could still be in here. Uncommon. This is just a straight up good die, too. So when, when oh, she spins yeah, up, you just prep a die. Yeah. Can't, uh, you can't go wrong with that. It's a good early buy. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Same. Oh, this one's interesting, though. This is while she is active, prevent the first point of damage dealt to you each turn. So if it's uh, you're playing against a ping, then she's not going to be very good. But and actually, in general, I think she's not very good. But that yeah. stat line's pretty good. Yeah, preventing one damage can make the difference. One damage is one damage. Don't get me wrong. Sunfire. When you feel another character die this turn, he gets plus two, plus two. So you're looking at for a five drop, you're looking at an eight six on top or a three three on bottom. Probably not good enough for five. And you have to field him and something else. So you got to keep a sidekick when you roll. Nah. Nah. The uncommon Sunfire, I think, is in this stack somewhere. And I think it's when he spins up, all your other character dice get plus one, plus one. I, yeah, I saw that one. Which is pretty cool. Team buffs always stick where they Oh my hand. god, are you kidding me? There it is. That's a hollow rare version of it. It's a two cost. And it says all character dice lose their affiliations and gain the villain affiliation. And it's got a it's got a global. It says pay a bolt, deal one damage to target villain character die. So uh, okay. yeah, that card's amazing. Yeah, I'm and that. that card makes your Norman Osborn really annoying. Yeah. And 
I don't like it. <laughs> I, I am not. I am actively not going to trade it to you. I'm going to check before I leave this. Before I leave the game closet here to make sure that card is still in my possession because that card is really good on your on your uh, Norman team. No, let, let Makes me Norman this really thing. really playable. Let you have. The, what do you mean? Let you have this one thing? You drafted a. You drafted Norman, man. That's crazy. <laughs> this bishop is really cool. Uncommon bishop. Okay, I've um, seen no, this is this is only the second bishop that I pulled, which is kind of crazy. But he's a five drop, so you don't really need too many dice for him. Um, big swapper. All right. Yeah, which is really interesting and yeah. cool in draft, but even marginally cool and constructed, at least on casual teams. Yeah. I don't know if it makes competitive being a five drop. If it were like a four, or crazy if it were three. All right, here's the other blink I don't know about. Whenever you use an action die, she gains infiltrate. Whenever you use an action die. Oh, infiltrate's back. She gains, uh, yeah, she gains yeah, that's an important thing. We should probably show what's uh, what's up in this set. These things. For those who haven't opened these packs yet. Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Awaken, Overcrush, Infiltrate. Exiles. That's interesting. Is that a new one? Or is that yeah, it's the X, that giant X thing. Yeah. It, I think it was in one set, maybe? I could be wrong. Hey, totally two of my favorite two of my favorite cards know. from this set, or characters from the set, Mimic and uh, Boom Boom. I have not seen the Uncommon. When she is active, the first time you use a global, deal one damage to your target opponent. <laughs> He's stocking up, man. All of the boom booms are really good. Every time you use a global, the first time you use a global. Yeah. Is it the first time you use draw. a global ability each turn? Yes. Rare Nocturne. Haven't seen this one. The first time your opponent uses an action die on each turn, you may redirect the effect to another legal target. So if it's a action die, if it's an action die that deals damage or buffs a certain target satchel, um, yeah. So the moment you use satchel, it's going towards a character die, and not towards my face for the loss. Which makes you have to use something else first. Does satchel have to target your opponent. No, it can target a character die as well. Well, I mean, could I use this to target not me, but back to their self? What do you mean? Can satchel target your own life? Uh, it says target opponent, right? Oh, it's target opponent. Okay. I think so. Same uh, boom boom. I don't know if it was target player. I mean, you could you know, it back to them. Maybe it is target player. But why would you target yourself in the first place? No, they target you, and with this, you target it back. Oh, so if you're both face. running it, I got. You. Yeah, okay. If you're both running it, that is certainly a possibility. This interesting thing is this is only on its bolt or it's on its uh, burst face. This morph. Common morph, uncommon, Sebastian Shaw. All right, we know there's not if you're both running it. If they are. If they're running. They use Satchel targeting you. You redirect it back to them. Oh, redirect it back to the. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I was missing that. Common and common. I like how the, the hollows feel a little rougher and more matte like. I kind of like that. Personally. You know when you open one. Maybe that's why I like it. Because there's like that rough yeah. of adrenaline. Definitely thicker. Or rougher or something. Yeah, that's it. Um, this is a really cool one combined with cube. See, again, that's a card that normally would not be good enough. Um, but you throw on cube, and now it's dealing three every time you field it. And it's a three drop. You just have to line it up with cube. Like and a it's five two for three. A five two for three is good. And it's just like barely not competitive. But you throw a cube on it and it's decent. Common Jean Grey, uncommon beast. When he is KO'd during your opponent's turn, you may prep a basic action from your used pile. That is far too uh, specific to probably get used, but it's good yeah. in draft because it's a two, two cost three two. If it was any action, if it were any action, then we'd be in business. That would be disgusting. <laughs> Eh, not disgusting, but it would be really good. Yeah. Common Colossus. Uncommon Onslaught. Can't be blocked by higher level character dice. So his 2 4 4 always goes in. Unless he's blo blocked by a level 1. Yeah. So a sidekick can still jump block him. That kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> always jump block. Another, another Wolverine. And a rare beast. Two cost. When he's KO'd, you may prep a beast die from your used pile. 
That's pretty decent. That's not bad. Uh, still the two three two. Uh, or he's a two cost one three two. But the two cost makes it pretty decent. Sunfire, common Sunfire, uncommon Angel. When you purchase a character die, you spend all copies of that character die up to level three. Wow, that's actually really good. That's really good. Richard? Uh oh, few packs left. Let's see if the distribution is decent and see if they pull another rare. Hollow Uncommon and Common Iceman. That's pretty decent. You field your uh, field up your field with uh, fill up your field with some decently statted guys, and then spin them all to level three when you purchase yeah. the last one. Hey, there's another rare, common banshee, rare ice man. If you were KO'd while blocking, you may pay a bolt to KO the blocked character die as well. He's a four drop. It's got a nice four six side, a one four six side. This card is not good at all. <laughs> and then the uncommon havoc, which is really cool, which acts as a fun casual win condition, especially combined with a few other things. That uncommon havoc. I don't know if you've seen that yet. It's pretty interesting. Common nocturne. Uncommon Professor X. Whoa! Two havocs. Common and rare havoc. Rare havoc while active when a uh, when an X character dies damage. Spin it up one level before determining if it's KO'd. And that should probably knock out the rares. I haven't been counting, but that seems like the right number. Plus three to whatever you count. Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, eighteen rares. Are you serious? Is that? Oh, fifteen total. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I was about to say. Oh my gosh, eighteen. Draw two from your bag. Field any of those at uh, free for free at level one. Put them back in use. So it's either churn or it's free character fielding. All right. So if there's fifteen total and there's three packs left, then. We're either bound for one more or two more, depending on the distribution. Or another super rare. No, no, no. Yeah. Speaking of one more, Awaken, roll a uh, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants fr die from your used pile. If you roll a character face, you can field it for free. Otherwise, return it to the used. And that's an Awaken ability, so it triggers when she spins. <clears throat> two left. Jubilee. We've got common and common, Jubilee and Bishop. And the last one. Tyler want me to open his packs on stream so he could show off how much better he picked for 30 packs. Common and uncommon, uncommon Sentinel. And uh, my good buddy Tyler purchased 30 packs, loose packs. So these could be like huge. He wants me to, okay. All right, so Ty's going to show off on how good of pulls he has. I'm going to set all my stuff off to the side. And these are straight up, straight up random. It's 30 bucks on this stuff. Common Colossus, Common Hellfire Club. So far, no good. Common and uncommon. Common Kitty Pride and uncommon Emma Frost. Over next to us, they are playing some Star Wars Destiny. We've got Avalanche, Common, and Juggernaut, uncommon. That's pretty good, right? That's an onslaught. Uncommon Bishop over here. Let's push these right there. All of his junk is going to be right there. Yeah, we got some serious pack trash issues over here. We are stuck up on pack trash. Common Pyro, Uncommon Xavier School. What does that do? Oh, when he attacks. What about like infantry grenades? What about something like that? Do you hate No. Do you hate me? Common Cyclops, Hollow Common. Hollow, uh, Hollow Nocturne. Oh, no, Common Nocturne. Common Destiny phrase, is that what you said? Yeah. 
Yeah, I am on the internet. So if you're yelling curse words, then these people who are probably probably old enough to hear that stuff will be upset. Yes. Uncalo uncommon. Hey, you were over there crying about how you were losing to some losing to some meta deck. Ty is always crying about losing. He, Ty is always crying about losing. Oh my god. Look at you with your 30 pack super rare. No, you didn't. It's just this common. No, it's a common saber tooth. Yeah, it's just. See, guess? all you got was this common saber tooth. So. Have you got an SR yet? He totally doesn't. He buys it. Yeah, no, I got, I got my tooth. Can I see it? Yeah, this one's really interesting. This one's really, really cool. Is this the SR? Okay. That's, that's minute, your so super this, rare. This is mine? I yes, you. Part. No, I opened it for you. I know, but this belongs to me. That belongs yes. to you. Well, unless you don't want it, in which case right, I can hold on to it. it. Well, he's excited. It is. Whoa. He's so pumped. Look at him. Is he good? Is he? He looks good. He looks good. He's good. He copies the abilities of Prime Attack. So you, he can, he can copy a Hulk. Per turn, you can use a ability. You may target. This is a lot of text to understand. But tell me, is he the best? <laughs> is he the best on the set? Uh, no, he's pretty good. It's not the best one in the set. Common and uncommon. Jubilee. I think he's one of the better cards. I'd put him top four. I'd put him top four. Out of, out of eight. No, top four of the super rare. This is the one you were talking about earlier. Of the eight. Common and uncommon Wolverine. Yes, that's the one that you yeah. can basically just retarget, retarget anything. Retarget anything. Common and uncommon. So he's hit no rares, but he hit a super rare. Is that the case? I mean, I guess... Oh, here's going to be a rare. It's got to be a rare. Common and rare blob. So this dude over here has, in 30 packs, pulled a rare blob and a freaking mimic. I wonder if he'll just swap me for the in betweener. I think he'll I'll trade you one of his. Do that. Or that danger. You'll, you'll trade me one of his cards. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh man, look at him. That. He bought thirty packs and he uh and he packed a full set of blob. That's pretty good. Nice. Uncommon sass. Pretty blood. good. Uh, what else we got? Common cyclops. Uncommon nocturne. Global ability with one target, you may redirect an effect to another legal target. I actually don't think I have this uncommon. Another uncommon being gray. I literally don't, I don't think I pulled this uncommon. Do you remember reading that text? I don't. Straight up do not remember reading it. I don't think so. Sunfire. I didn't pull a Sunfire either. When he's active, damage dealt to your X character dice is reduced by two. Okay, here's a rare Hellfire card. Ooh, what does that do? I don't know. All character dice gain plus two attack this turn. At the end of e at the end of the turn, KO all character dice that did not attack with one. No way. Every character dice. That is insane. That is insane. This is all you got left? All right, so the second super rare is sitting not in mine, but it got to be in yours. Oh, my God, but he pulled a hollow rare, and look at this card. This is an amazing card. Hollow rare Professor X, but he's got this global that says, pay a mask, once per turn, feel the target sidekick from use pop. Just pay a mask, feel the sidekick. Not quite as good as the old one. No, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> just, just, just a pinch off. It was just a pinch though. off, but it's a hollow like rare, it. and it yeah. works It works really well and with the super rare G. Uncommon and the common Colossus. All right, so you're going to keep these, right? And then these ones will just sit over here. Is that right? Just carefully yeah. off to the side. Yeah, just hand well, me that man, danger round. And 30. Can have th and then, and then you, we just don't tell <laughs> yeah. him. We just don't yeah. tell him that, that, ex yeah. that those cards exist. <laughs> man, for, you 30 show packs, he knows for 30 packs, that is good. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, let's see. Thirty bucks. You th this right now, because the set just dropped, is going to be forty bucks on Cool Stuff Inc. Yeah. This is probably going to be ten bucks on Cool Stuff Inc. That's probably at least five. That's got to be yeah, I'd something say. like that. A hollow version. I think that guy made his money. What do you think? Now I got to go find a way to swindle him out of the the mimic. Just, what can I give him? What cards are shiny enough to give him? Uh, danger looks pretty good. I don't know. That guy's got a lot of good cards over there. I'm just gonna I'm gonna find a way to, to swindle that stuff. All right. Well, that was fun. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a good evening.